In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH4I. This is silver nitrate, and then we have ammonium iodide. The first thing we need to do when we have these net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. When I look at the molecular equation, it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we'll write the states for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So the nitrates here, AQ, aqueous, or soluble, dissolve, and they're going to split apart into their ions. Ammonium compounds are also very soluble. Put an AQ after that, aqueous. When we look at silver compounds, we want to be cautious. Silver compounds are often insoluble. So let's look this up on a solubility chart. So here's silver Ag+, plus, and I have the bromide ion and the chloride ion. I don't see the iodide ion on my chart. So because iodide's in the same group, iodine is in the same group as bromine and chlorine, I'm gonna assume it's like these other silver compounds here, that it's insoluble. You can see silver really all, quite often is insoluble. So we're gonna assume that silver iodide is insoluble. Back to our equation. Because this AGI is insoluble, these two substances react and they produce a solid. This is going to be a solid. It won't dissolve. It's a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. So we have our precipitate right here. That's the AGI. After we do that, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Silver is always one plus, and the whole nitrate ion is one minus. Good one to remember. So we have our silver ion, Ag plus, and then we have our nitrate ion, NO3 minus. The ammonium ion, that's one plus the whole thing. So we have one plus the ammonium ion, NH4 plus, and then our iodide ion here, that's one minus. So we'll have I minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split the solids apart. So we're just gonna keep this silver iodide here together. And then we said plus for the ammonium, negative for the nitrate, NH4 plus, just like the reactants. And then we have a nitrate, NO3 minus, just like the reactants as well. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. I have my reactants here, and then these are my products. So I see I have a nitrate ion in the reactants and in the products. Spectator ion, cross it out. I have an ammonium ion here and in the products. We cross it out. What's left, that's our net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH4I. I'll clean this up. We'll write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH4I. You can see that charge is balanced. We have a plus and a minus. That gives us a net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound over here, net charge of zero. Charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms, they're the same too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH4I. Thanks for watching.